Here we are at Maumee Bay State Park and Resort on Lake Erie in Ohio. Beautiful morning, nice and clear. Getting ready to head over to nearby McGee Marsh for some migrating warblers. Let's see what we can find. Getting ready to head out, McGee Marsh. Gonna be a beautiful day outside. Nice view of the room here at Mommy Bay. There's my laptop, the old camera. That I got a decent night's sleep in. Let's do this. McGee Marsh is located in Ohio, just east of Toledo on the shores of Lake Erie, right next to the Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge. Every spring, many warblers stop here to refuel, waiting for the perfect time to cross the Great Lakes and continue their long journey up north to breed. It's such a spectacle that the marsh is considered the warbler capital of the world with a birding festival sponsored by the Black Swamp Bird Observatory held every May and is dubbed the biggest week in American birding. There's a beautiful boardwalk that works its way through the marsh, putting you right in the middle of all the warblers as they flutter around and feed, giving excellent opportunities to observe and photograph many different species. One of the highlights for me was the Canada Warbler, one of my all-time favorite birds. This beautiful yellow and gray colored warbler sports a striking black necklace on its chest, giving it the nickname Necklaced Warbler. One of the last warblers to reach its breeding grounds in the north, and also one of the first to leave in the fall, this warbler travels up to 3,000 miles to its wintering grounds in Mexico and mainly South America, and studies show it travels around the Gulf of Mexico instead of over it. The males usually arrive at the breeding grounds first, but occasionally pairs will migrate together. Canada warblers like to forage in the dense undergrowth, and sometimes on the ground, flushing insects from foliage and fallen leaves. They prefer moist habitat for nesting, with the nest being built by the female, but both parents care for the young. One of my favorite birds, and I was thrilled to see a few of them up close at McGee Marsh. A 
Another one of my all-time favorite birds, the Magnolia Warbler is a beautiful combination of yellow, black, and bluish grays with streaks on its chest. Females and juveniles are a bit less vibrant than the adult male. They forage by hopping from branch to branch, often taking insects from the underside of vegetation. Most Magnolia Warblers breed in Canada, migrating from Mexico and Central America, usually flying across the Gulf of Mexico, with males usually arriving to the breeding grounds first. Their nests are usually well hidden, mostly built by the female, but the male will help, and both parents feed the young. Always a thrill to see this striking little bird in person as it bounces around the branches looking for insects, and once again, McGee Marsh did not disappoint.
Right next to McGee Marsh is the Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge, a variety of wetlands and forests that provide habitat for migratory birds, waterfowl, and wildlife. It has a beautiful visitor center and gift shop, along with many trails to explore and a wildlife drive that takes you into the refuge. There's also a shared walking trail about a mile and a half long that connects the refuge to McGee Marsh. The best time to go to McGee Marsh is in May, with the second and third weeks usually being the best. The birding festival is usually in early May. By the end of the month it slows down as most of the warblers have moved on and continued their journey up north. And chances are not every day is going to be great, as there will be day-to-day -day variations in the amount of birds at McGee. But the longer you stay, the better chance you'll have at hitting a peak day and it will be an amazing experience you'll remember for the rest of your life. I know I will. <laughs> 